We discuss about what I'm doing in Ghana uh, to bring about transformation in our agricultural sector and what help FAO can give to us in our effort to do so. Basically, we're talking about tree development, that we, Ghana is a monocrop economy. Uh, cocoa has been the dominant uh, crop for the last 130 years, and this government to which I belong, we're trying to transform that by diversifying, selecting six other tree crops for rapid development. And these are oil palm, coconut, cashew, coffee, rubber, uh, uh, share, share crop. And we find that the constraint in doing that is not coming from the farmers. Farmers are very keen uh, to uh, take up the seedlings that the uh, government provides to them. But the capacity of our research institutions to expand the planting material is the challenge. And we have a budget of about $40 million that we need in order to expand the capacity of the six research organizations to be able to supply adequate planting material to meet our targets. And uh, it sounds very ambitious, but there's the experience, we have the capacity, it's just that we don't have the resources to expand. We are looking for our development partners, including FAO, to assist us. He has given me the assurance that uh, the investment center, which uh, is a very strong arm of FAO, would uh, liaise with me in order to do the feasibility study so that we can have access to, to funding from outside, which is something that I'm taking back to Ghana. I'm very pleased about that. The tree development uh, uh, project that we've set ourselves as a, a means of diversifying the agriculture economy is very central to the work of uh, my government. And, and any assistance that FAO can give, and he's saying that uh, the Director General promised that uh, he'll get the investment center to contact us so that we can together do a joint study, feasibility study, to enable us to approach other donor communities to raise this 40 million. That, to me, is of immediate need. And we are hoping that um, uh, as soon as I get to Ghana, we can work on that and start to work on the, uh, with the investment center. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. Unless you have something to add? Well, what I'm adding is this is the second time I've come as a minister for the Governing Council of IFAD. And uh, the first time, two years ago, it was held on the premises of uh, IFAD. The fact that we are coming in to use FAO facilities is indicating to me the collaboration between the UN bodies. And that's very encouraging for me. And I would want further collaboration between the institutions of the United Nations in order to promote the welfare of humanity. Thank you.